Taylor and Kyle, take a look around. Getting to this moment has not been easy, we know. In fact, in the past five months, there have been moments where things have been very uncertain. But in the midst of so much uncertainty, you both have been reminded of what is certain. And that's the love, commitment, and loyalty that has brought you to this very moment. Remember this all right now, soak it in, and enjoy the heck out of tonight. We are all here because each of us, in our own way, has witnessed your love for each other. I think I can speak for everyone in this room. We are beyond excited to see what the future has in store for you. I will never grow old, even when we grow up. It's up to us to stop and smell each rose. To the colors that we show, it's the feeling that we trust. And it's the brush that we both carry. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. Love, love, love. Taylor, take you, Kyle, to be my husband. I vow to share all that I have and all that I am for all time to come. And I promise to do all in my power to keep my love as deep and as strong as it is today. And I promise to do all in my power to keep my love as deep and as strong as it is today. So, by the power vested in me, by you two's friendship, and by God's power, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kyle, you may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my very great honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Taylor Hyman.
grandmother who's behind me right here always told me that God had a plan and he doesn't always work in the same time frame that you want it to work. So that same weekend when Kyle wasn't there, he met Taylor. So Kyle was absent and I learned something. So on that weekend, the plan was for Kyle to fall in love, me to learn something and us to celebrate tonight. Congratulations, guys.